Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone. And we got another story to report. It was given to us by Reality TV. Or Reality T. And the title is given, Real Housewives of Atlanta, Shamil Morton. Shamil Morton is hosting an after show featuring the Atlanta Housewives husbands, okay? And I think it's called, oh shoot, I can't remember, the Atlanta Husbands of Housewives or something to that degree. But, it, you know, it's featuring Todd, Ralph, and Aaron. And it was an okay show. Uh, Shamil was an expert interviewer but the stuff that Todd was letting come out of his mouth and Ralph come out of his mouth the only same person was there that was giving good substance was Sanya's or Sonya's husband Aaron so we're gonna get into what reality tv wrote up or reality t wrote up about the um housewife husband show that were supposed to have to come into fruition but for some reason it never did all right but it goes in to say my one wish for Bravo is that they would stop pushing house husbands on us. There are very few franchises where featuring the husbands actually works. And the Cohen even previously admitted that they tried and failed to work on a show featuring just the housewives. I mean, just, yeah, the housewives' husbands. Now, I'm like, they must have started with the white folk. And it seems like it is. is the Orange County in Florida. Uh, housewives they should have started with the husbands back when Phaedra them was on the show when we had Apollo we had uh, Todd we had Peter Thomas we had Greg Leakes and who was the fourth person let me see Peter Greg Todd Apollo was it just four husbands y'all shoot I can't remember let me see Cynthia Bailey's husband Candy Bird's husband, Phaedra Park, Apollo, Kenny didn't have a husband at the time, Great Lease was Nene. So yeah, I guess it was just four husbands. Now that's when they would have kicked it off and it would have been a good spinoff after each show to hear their version and their take on their wives acting up in these streets out here. Meaning the YouTube streets and on the streets of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. We're going back on with the story they were trying to present to us today. Um, and it went on to say that they tried featuring it back in 2021. Uh, we developed early on. We developed a show called The Real Husbands of Orange County. And we cast a bunch of husbands. And the truth is, guys are kind of boring. No offense, as we all know, Real Housewives of Orange County was a franchise that started it all. And the early years of the series revolved heavily around the families of the women, as opposed to their actual friendships. And the show went on. They continued to feature the husbands prominently, but it was, in fact, boring. No one wanted to watch Jim, um, Bellino, or Bellino, Simon Barney, and Slade Smiley hang out, which they actually forced us to once, and I want that five minutes of my life back i guess the real housewives of atlanta longtime friend of shamil morton didn't get the memo she recently posted an event to her instagram which will feature the husbands of real housewives of atlanta the promo pictures featured shamil with ralph Pittman, um todd tucker and aaron ross all dressed up for clarity, Ralph is Drew Sidoris' husband and Aaron is the husband of newbie Sonia Richards Ross. Shamia captioned the post. Hey best friends, coming soon the husbands of the Real Housewives of Atlanta will give you real talk about upcoming Real Housewives of Atlanta episodes and the many questions that people want answered from a marriage 
from a married man's perspective or point of view. Make sure you tune in to Candy Burris online on YouTube every Wednesday and catch the husbands on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. And it gives uh, the uh, husband's Instagram accounts. Um, and she'll be hosting. So, that was one thing to say. And, of course, Candy is behind it. She has her hands in everything. As much as I want to say, get your coins, this really isn't it. But, really, do any of the fans want to hear about Ralph's perspective on marriage after we've watched him gaslight his wife on camera or Todd complaining about Candy working too much? Maybe so. Uh, maybe some do, but I think the house husband should be seen and not heard when it comes to off-camera opportunities. Obviously, there is a simple solution to my problem, not tuning in. For those that do, let me know in the comments what you think. So that was just a write-up from Reality T. One of their journalists wrote the article up saying, Hey, would y'all want to see them talk about the show or talk about their wives and how... They get things going and they making these money moves and this, that, and the third. And I'm like, shoot, not really, because you would only hear Todd, tiny Tim Todd Tucker is what I like to call him. He would just complain all the time like an itch. You know what I'm saying? He would just be complaining about what his wife don't do when she is at home. What she do do when she's in the streets and don't take him. And I was just like, why, 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 blah, 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 blah. Don't want to hear it from whining. Todd, I just don't want to hear it. And then you got Ralph over there. He just... Uh, he just effing mind games with his wife, Drew, unless it is a simple ex uh, explanation and that they're just totally acting. But how they act, I really don't think it's acting. That's just them. And just nobody just really like Ralph. Right? Ralph is just not a likable guy because he just lies all the time. And he expects it just because he's a man that gives him a pass to do whatever, whenever, and however with whomever. And that's just not right. Now, on the same person that's there, and the sad part about it, Todd is older than either the other two. And he can't even come through. And I always wonder, I wonder, did they have a twist together or a tryst together, Shamir? Todd and Candy. They, they went in them sheets together, y'all, before Shamil got married. Child, I don't know, because they freaky deaky. They freaky deaky, okay? Just like Portia and Todd and Candy wanted to get together. But that was before the uh, dungeon whole fiasco of a big misunderstanding and this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? But the 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 timing was off, but the intent was very real. But they wouldn't touch Portia with a 10-foot pole at this point. At least I wouldn't think they would. And um, I just don't think we really need it. Because what can they bring to the table that we as women want to hear? Because they're going to lie. And they're going to take up for their manhood. Now Aaron. Sonya's husband. I think he could give us a great deal of perspective. On this that and the third. How it's being seen. And why the men see it a certain way. And then he give us his perspective. Just being him. And he's looking at the situation unfold. And that dog on Ralph. Uh, throw him back to the sea. And let the sharks. You know. <laughs> okay. Have him for lunch or dinner. Or both. But that's all I have for this video, guys. It was a cute introduction. And I know I did tell you all I was going to try to cover it on my channel. But then if I got through hearing Todd and Ralph complain uncontrollably, I was like, no, I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> it's another deal with the women and their comings and goings. But I can further relate because I am a woman. But I'm not as petty and, you know, go get it hustler like Ken. I'm like, Ken is everywhere. I'm getting to believe she's going to be embedded in all our uh, brain cells, okay? Because, whoo, girl is doing something else. And then I hear she's um, teaming up with Mona Scott. And it's supposed to have this SWV and escape show coming on to a TV near us. 
<laughs> Woo! And I'm like, Mona Scott? Duh, that's kind of like Zeus Network. People gonna get to fight? Because, you know, she was a head or spearheaded that uh, hip-hop Atlanta and hip-hop this and hip-hop that type of reality show. And all the thing, that's how we got Jocelyn Hernandez and Cardi B. And many more um, people uh, got themselves mixed up, uh, mixed up with Mona Scott. And man, I did did uh, Mona Scott produce Wendy Williams' autobiography as well, or, or, or biography, a biop, whatever it's called. It was a hot mess. I'm like, uh, uh-uh. uh, we can't go for that. No, uh, uh-uh. uh, no can do. We can't go for that. So I'm like, what's, I don't know what that going to look like. <sighs> it might look like a travesty. I don't know. I really don't know. But like I said, I don't know why I don't want to watch this. And if we did, we wouldn't probably watch the whole hour of it. If it was, I know I didn't. Shoot, I watched it on my phone, really, to tell you the truth. But like I said, Shamir was a very good interviewer. She should think, definitely think about doing something in public speaking uh because she's really good you would think she would try to tell her uh best friend because one of my family members here on the two said Shamia and Portia were, was um early stage friends like in kindergarten or elementary they were that kind of friendship that lasts I guess you say a lifetime if um uh, Shamia had her way, because Portia, she just used and abused people. When she don't need you no more, she just get rid of you like she ain't never, you know, had any dealings with you. Oh, child. Child, child, child. But that's all I have for this video, guys. Like it, love it, gotta have more. And you know I will be back. Yes, not tonight. But I will be back. And y'all enjoy y'all selves and have a great night. Bye-bye. Shh. <sighs>